This series is not meant to be an accurate representation of the current NASCAR Cup series. This is a fictional series, ran on NR2003 for enjoyment. I hope you enjoy today's race. Hello everybody, welcome into today's action live from Sonoma Raceway, the road course in California. We have 39 of NASCAR's best drivers ready to go racing here today on a bright, beautiful, sunny day. Joey Logano and AJ Allmendinger on the front row, ready to go racing here at the road course. We're moments away from the engines being fired, so we'll take you down trackside to get the cars rolling and ready to go racing here in Sonoma. Drivers! Engines roar to life on the front straightaway here. Cars begin to roll. We are prepared and ready for some racing action. Starting lineup for today's event. As I mentioned, Joey Logano, AJ Allmendinger on the front row. The rest of the field here. Chase Elliott starting pretty deep in the field. Who is going to be able to tame this course? A very difficult road course. Uh, when we come here, the grass is already dead and it is very, very dusty if you get off the racetrack. So we'll have to see how visibility will play a role today. A couple storylines as well. Gonna go to the back of the field for a couple of them. Roman Grosjean making his second ever NASCAR Cup Series start here in Sonoma in the 53 machine for Rick Ware Racing. Grosjean did not finish Coda. Had a mechanical failure on the 53. So they gave him another start here. The other story is the 91 Trackhouse Machine. We talked about the Trackhouse Machine uh, when we went to Indianapolis and Sergio Perez raced in that vehicle. Uh, today, Helio Castroneves will be racing in the 91 Machine. IndyCar driver races with Roman Grosjean in the IndyCar series, but Castroneves will be getting a NASCAR start, his first ever NASCAR start here today in Sonoma in the 91 Machine. Three starts planned for the track house 91 one more start is going to be at Watkins Glen so driver has not been announced for that track house has usually been waiting until the week of to announce who the driver is so have to be looking forward to that back up the front we got Joey Logano AJ Allmendinger these two guys gonna battle hard today AJ a road course veteran knows how to get around road courses so another thing about the 16 is AJ is going to be doing the bulk of the the work here over the next little while in the 16 AJ with a lot of starts scheduled throughout the end of the season him and Hemrick pretty much splitting it 50-50 there's a few few spots, few races in there where Noah Gregson could be fit in. Cars come around off of the hairpin. Into the final corner. AJ Allmendinger, Joey Logano. Green flag in the air. We're racing in Sonoma. They will climb the hill. A.J. Allmendinger. He's going to get the early lead. And we've got we've got some problems. Back of the field. Looked like Bubba Wallace might have got turned around. There's some damage on both sides of his car. Kevin Harvick with some damage as well. Looks like everybody made it through pretty much okay. 
Bubba Wallace does have some damage, but doesn't look like he lost too many spots, if any, with that spin. And Kevin Harvick with some damage on the front of his machine. No caution for it. We'll get you a look at what happened on turn number one, on lap one. Here they are coming up the hill. Bubba Wallace didn't spin all the way around, but there was some damage. We'll get another look at it. Taking a look at it here, looks like Harvick just gets in the door of Bubba. But ends up getting straightened out and is able to continue on. We're back live with Bubba Wallace here. If he did get any damage, it's not it does not seem like it is affecting that machine. Had something happen to Chase Elliott. We'll get you a look at that as well. was coming into turn number 11. Michael McDowell gets Chase Elliott spun around. So Elliott way behind the eight ball now. Back live with Chase Elliott. He's at the tail end of the field. No damage to the nine car, but a lot of track position gone. At the front, A.J. Allmendinger has taken the lead from Joey Logano. It extended that lead to almost a second. Back to the Chase Elliott spin. Unfortunate for the nine car. A car who really had high hopes today. He's struggled as of late. We've got a car on pit road. Ryan Blaney unscheduled pit stop. Not sure what happened to the 12 machine, but he is coming to pit road. Looks like they're changing tires on the 12. Tire down possibly on Ryan Blaney's machine. Could have happened from that first lap. There was a lot of contact. Here is the car that spun Chase Elliott around. There was some contact to the front of that machine when Elliott got spun around. So mayhem all over the racetrack here early in Sonoma. Dowell looking to the back bumper of Chase Briscoe. Won't quite be there that time. Kyle Larson won here last year, 2021. Larson right now being shown in the fifth position. So Kyle with some experience here actually beat out Chase Elliott. That was the alternate configuration for Sonoma. We're back to the original cup configuration. Austin Sindrick, a really proud road course racer himself. Uh, Sindrick races a lot of Trans Am cars on road courses and really takes pride in his road course capability. So it doesn't surprise me that Austin Sindrick up here towards the front of the field and fourth position. Uh, update on Ryan Blaney. Ryan Blaney indeed did have a right rear tire going down on the 12 machine. And that's what happened to the 12. So Blaney behind the eight ball as well. 
Chase Elliott hasn't moved from his back of the pack position. Did not come and get new tires, so that spin may have flat spotted the tires, which really does affect the handling on these race cars. Oh, looks like Todd Gilland. Something may have happened to Todd Gilland there. He's slow. I'm going to replay of that. Same spot. Looks like this happens in turn number 11. The 51. Gets into the back of Gillen's machine. Doesn't spin him all the way around, but... Nonetheless, Gillen loses a few positions. Back live, Gillen's actually gotten around Chase Elliott. So turn 11. That's been a tough one. Update on Castro Nevis. Helio racing Eric Jones right now. That's for the 29th position. Very difficult for a driver to come into a series and a race car that you've never driven before in your life. And expect to do well. But nonetheless, I talked with Helio yesterday and he was having a great time in practice. Really enjoyed just being here. The other end of the spectrum here, Roman Grosjean. Roman just wants to finish this race today. He wants to get through it. He wants the car to hold together. And he wants to finish a race. Right now, racing with Landon Castle and teammate Ryan Priest. Damage on Kevin Harvick's car does not seem like it's affecting the four car that much. You can see there's definitely some damage on the rear bumper. Harvick being shown 18th right now. A little bit ahead of him, you have Daniel Suarez trying to hunt down Bubble Wall is a gaggle of race cars here. Denny Hamlin sandwiched between his two race cars that he owns. And taking a look, looks like Kyle Busch, he's got some damage on the 18 as well. So some cars with some damage. Something wrong with the 22 machine? Joey Logano looks like he is slow on the racetrack. Something wrong with the 22. Something amiss on a 22 machine. And that's the second Penske car to have an issue this afternoon. So Logano will come down to pit lane. Get an update on what happened to Joey. That's going to put Martin Truex in second position, but pretty far behind AJ Allmendinger. Something I miss on the 22 machine. Now he's kind of stacked all these guys up with that issue. I mean, the second Penske car that has had a problem today, that's got to be pretty ominous. And if you're Austin Sindrick, you might be thinking, oh, what's going on? So, some pretty big storylines going on here. Chastain right behind Eric Almarola. 
guys in the top 10. Austin Sindrick now in third. Joey Logano back on track. We're being told that yet again, a flat right rear tire on Joey Logano's car. So Logano and Blaney both having issues here in Sonoma. AJ Allmendinger with almost a four second lead. He's going to come down into turn number 11. Off the final corner, AJ Allmendinger is going to see the white flag here in Sonoma. Last lap for the 16 machine. Dominating day so far. Truex did cut into the lead a little bit that time, but it's not going to be enough to go up there and get Almendinger. But even without a win, having a good race like this for Truex is, is huge. It's massive to have a race like this. Almendinger down through the S's. Another reason why Truex might, may have caught Almendinger is he might have backed it off a little bit. Not driving off on the curbs as much. So the 16 down into turn number 11. He's going to come around. And A.J. Allmendinger, a part-time driver, will go to victory lane again, this time in Sonoma. Two wins on the season for the 16 machine. And there's a caution on the racetrack, looking like it happened somewhere with Cole Custer. It happened at the end of the race. We'll get you a look at what happened there. Happens going into the final the turn 11 here. Oh, some contact. Oh, man. Heavy hit. Heavy, heavy hit. Going into turn 11. Oh, some contact. Oh, a hit for the 42. Heavy damage on the 41 and the 7. We'll get another look. Just some contact and then Ty Dillon right into the tire barriers. Ugh, heavy hit. But nonetheless, AJ Allmendinger, your winner. And he's going to celebrate with these great fans in Sonoma. AJ Allmendinger, not a full-time driver in the Cup Series this year, but getting two wins, one at Phoenix and one here today in Sonoma. The road course ringer, he does it again, this time at Sonoma. Colleague Racing has got to be happy with the way that AJ Allmendinger is performing in this 16 car. The information they gather from this car every week must be stellar information. Uh, from whenever AJ gets in this car, the experience he has, and the results that he's putting up. AJ Allmendinger, your winner today in Sonoma. Unofficial results from today's race in Sonoma. A wild one. A lot of drivers with issues. A lot of guys getting spun around. Ty Dillon with a massive hit not been released from the infield care center yet.
AJ Allmendinger, you're a winner this afternoon. It was a wild one. Kind of figured it was going to be with Sonoma and the way that the racetrack is. I mean, we had drivers all over the racetrack today that had issues. Uh, we had drivers making a lot of contact with one another. Taking a look also at the point standings here, Kozlowski, with a good finish today, is going to help his point situation. Chase Elliott, the biggest loser in the point situation today, um, finishing all the way in the back of the pack this afternoon. Going to hurt his chances. That nine car has to pick it up. We are getting towards the end of the season. So Chase Elliott starting to get into a hole where he's got to maybe win a race to get back into this thing. Taking a look at the schedule. And got some good races coming up. The run to the end of the season is happening now. We hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for sticking around today and watching the race here in Sonoma. That's going to do it for our broadcast. We'll see you in the next one here on Thanks for Trying TV.